Hi, this is Gabby from Speedy Set. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the color halftone effect on Adobe Illustrator. Many graphic artists need to understand this process because vector halftones can be scaled to any size without the risk of pixelation. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a grayscale object and turn it into a vector halftone. Let's begin by opening up a new file. We'll name it Vector Halftone and make it a large canvas, maybe 1800 pixels by 1800 pixels. Before I begin this process, we need to follow one more step. Choose Effect, Document Raster Effects Settings, Resolution, go to Other, and type in 288 pixels per inch. I recommend using this because the standard screen metric for Illustrator is 72 ppi. Therefore, choosing a multiple of 72 will yield a better tracing result. You will understand this later in the tutorial. Now I'm going to use a simple design for a grayscale gradient. You can practice this with any basic shape or design. I'm going to use expanded text. I'm going to click Unite. That way, I only keep the black information as one solid object. I'm just playing around in the gradient panel to see what we can accomplish. You can customize gradients in a number of ways. For example, the location of each solid color, how the colors blend together, and even opacity. Once you're happy with your gradient, select the design and choose Effect, Pixelate, Color Halftone. The first thing this will ask is the maximum radius, meaning the dot size, and you'll want to increase it for accurate dots later. I'm going to set it to 20 pixels. And then the next four things ask for screen angles for all of the CMYK channels. I will make them all the same number, in this case, 200. Once complete, the object shows how it's comprised of black dots. If you are not satisfied with the dot size, feel free to undo and repeat this process with different numbers. The larger the number for the maximum radius, the larger the dots. Therefore, the smaller the number for the maximum radius, the smaller the dots. In this case, I think my dots are a little too small, so I'm going to go back and up my radius to 30. Once you've completed these steps and you're happy with your image, it's time to turn our halftone object into a vector object using Image Trace. Choose Object, Expand Appearance. Then go back and choose Object, Image Trace, Make. I recommend increasing the paths and corners if it makes your image clearer, in addition to decreasing the noise for the dots to show more clearly where they need to be. I'm going to select Ignore White so my graphic is just the black information. Go ahead and play around with recoloring your graphic. Just select the object and add a new color. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to use the color halftone effect on Adobe Illustrator.